Hello everybody, Not Dead Yet here today and we are doing Mama Swole's handcuffed push-up challenge. Now before this video starts, I would first like to shout out this dude that left a comment on my uh, 100 subscriber ice bath challenge saying that he was actually a subscriber from Finland and that is really cool to me. It's really cool to know that I have watchers in Finland. Let me know where you're from down below and maybe I'll throw you up and give you a shout out or something. But yeah, that's, that's really cool. Kudos to you, man. You okay? Eli. But anyway, today we're doing Mama Swole's handcuffed push-up challenge. Now, the record, I believe, was set by my friend Tom Lazoric, who got 39 and a half. I'm rounding down here. 39 is the number to beat, and honestly speaking, if I don't get at least 50, I'm shooting for 60, but if I don't get at least 50, I'm going to be disappointed with myself. But there is still one other thing that I would like to address, because in her original video where she reacts to people trying Mama Swole workouts, um, she mentions how she really likes the fact that this girl here did it in a dress. Oh shit, this girl's in a dress doing it. It looks like a dress. I don't know, maybe it's just a long shirt, but that's impressive from the start, may I, may I just say. And we all know that I am not one to be outdone. So, with that in mind... Whoops, wrong wig. Give me one second here. There we go. Now that I'm... Oh, Jesus. Now that I'm dressed up like I'm about to go work at my other job... We can get this challenge started. I've got a pair of handcuffs here that I am going to put on and uh, next time you'll see me, I'll be on the floor. All right. These are way too small for me. You know, if I had a nickel for every time I was handcuffed in a dress and cheap wig, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, right? Okay, everybody ready? Here we go, 50. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Fifty. Or forty. Fifty. Good. Let's keep going. Okay, okay, 56. 56 is what I believe I got. Yeah, these broke halfway through. They're complete and utter garbage. Uh, <sighs> Let's just get these off me. Jeez. All right, well, 56, there we go. However, get this off too. However, speaking of Tom Lazoric, he put out another challenge for anybody brave enough to attempt it. Also, look at my wrists from that. Hold on, let's see if I can get a... You see? I feel like... Hold on. You see like the indents? Anyway. Um, he put out a challenge for anyone brave enough to try it. And I bet you're wondering how I'm going to be able to do his challenge without a pair of handcuffs. Well, the answer is simple. I always keep, I don't know if you guys can see it, yeah, a spare pair of handcuffs inside my pillow. Not for the reason you think. Um, I have to handcuff myself to the bed at night to avoid hurting myself as I scream and thrash about due to the incessant night terrors and visions that I receive whenever I close my eyes. But, aside from that, 
Sorry, I'm just setting up my camera back on the stand. Aside from that, we have a spare pair of handcuffs. So, what my good buddy Tom did was he attached one hand to his bench and did one arm push-ups in order to up the ante. Now this truly is cruel and unusual punishment, but I guess, Well, I don't have a bench to do, so I'm going to be taking this chair right here. And uh, doing it with that. Stop looking at my legs. I know you like watching. Okay, anyway. Whew, that was rougher than I thought, to be quite honest. I thought I'd be able to get 60. A little disappointed myself that I couldn't. To be fair, this is after the workout. I work out and I haven't eaten anything today. But I mean, hey, I'll take 56. If someone beats me, I might have to come back and do it again. Okay, so we are, can you guys see the chair? Nice. We are back in the handcuffs and we are now cuffed to the chair. You know, when they said February's cuffing season, this isn't what I thought they meant. Okay, one arms, let's go. So, just give me one second. And if that wasn't good enough, or you don't like what I did, you are very welcome to go do this yourself. Whew. Now, I'm getting really hungry. Okay, we're good. These handcuffs are exactly the most expensive. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. There we are. Now, um, switch sides, I suppose. We'll go instead of facing the camera. You know what? Actually, I can just smooth the side that the chair is on. Big brain, big brain. <sighs> Boom, click, click, boom. Okay, ready, go. Actually, wait, let me fix my skirt. Purrs, anyway. All right, we're shooting for 20 again. I'm starting to get tired. side is my dominant side. I have no idea why that might be. It has nothing to do with the fact that it's Valentine's season and I'm single. 
nothing to do with that at all. Uh, but anyway, I, if you guys want to see me try and do this to actual failure while I am fresh, let me know and maybe I'll do it. But Tom up the ante with one arm push ups. I'm going to get this out of my way. I'm also upping the ante. Tom, I plan to see how you do in this because I'm a boxer. So if we're going to up the ante, we are going to up the ante in the only way I possibly can. That being Rocky push-ups. How many can you do? God, I did 10 each arm, I think. I lost count, but I'm pretty sure I did 10 each arm. Which means that anybody interested, that's the number to beat. I'm, I didn't go until burnout. Uh, I just went until I figured that was a good time to stop. So. I'm excited to see people continue to do Mama Swole's push-up challenge. I'm excited to see how many people can beat me in Tom's challenge because I might have to come back and beat you again. And I'm really excited to see Tom and anybody else attempt my version of the push-up challenge. But until those videos come out, I am not dead yet. And if you aren't either, there's always a tomorrow waiting for you. Hey everyone, not done editing yet here, and I just kind of wanted to say that I'm a little bit disappointed in my performance there. I definitely thought obviously I got more push-ups than I did, but I'm pretty sure I'd be able to get 60, especially if I took the challenge a little bit more seriously and, um, you know, did it maybe at the start of my workout as opposed to the end and, you know, on a full stomach as opposed to like, because I did that at like 7 o'clock at night after my workout and which means I didn't really eat anything for like 6 or 7 hours before I attempted the challenge. So yeah, I, I definitely think I could do better. I'm probably not going to reattempt it unless someone beats my record, then maybe I might, maybe. Um, but I also wanted to kind of comment a little bit on my form for the Rocky push-ups because they were god-awful. So yeah, I know that like I did them at the end of two sets of pretty much burnouts, but I wanted to throw in a little bit of footage of me doing uh, Rocky push-ups a little bit more. <laughs> I wanted to throw in a little bit more footage of me doing Rocky push-ups a little bit more fresh just to prove that, hey, look, I can actually do these with decent form. But... Ultimately, uh, I want to speak directly to Tom Lazoric, as well as anybody else who may attempt my version of the challenge, because, you know, Tom has his challenge, Mama Swole has hers. If you're man enough, anybody who does my challenge, do it in a dress. And maybe I'll react to it. If anybody wants to see, like, if they can beat the 11 uh, one-arm push-ups, which shouldn't be too hard to do. 11's not insane. But yeah, if anybody can attempt my challenge, if you're man enough, or woman enough, I suppose, do it in a dress. Send it to me. Uh, let me know. Tag me on Instagram. Do whatever you have to do. And uh, maybe I'll do a video like Mama Swole's where I react to people doing my Rocky push-up in a dress challenge. So, yeah, hopefully people decide to do that, because that'd be kind of a fun video to make. But until that video comes out, for real this time... Oh wait, don't forget to check me out on Patreon and uh, PayPal. The links are in the description if you want to give me money and support me. Uh, again, also on Instagram, one not dead yet one Just gotta get the plugs in. But yeah, until the next one, I'm not done editing yet. 
but I will be by the time you watch this. So yeah, um, I guess by the time you watch this, I'm done editing. But if you aren't either, this outro is getting a little bit weird. I'm not dead yet. And if you aren't either, there's always a tomorrow waiting for you.